Good morning. Happy Tuesday. And I don't know about you, but I have never liked taking medicine. It's just not my favorite thing. And so whenever I got sick, I would try so hard to get well so I wouldn't have to take medicine. But the Bible says there's the best kind of medicine. And I think both of us will like it a lot. And that's found in Proverbs 17, 22. So grab your Bibles, grab your soap journal, and grab your pen. I've already got my glasses, so we're good to go. Proverbs 17, 22, the Bible says, A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. And if you're listening on the weekend, this verse came up. But let's think about it for ourselves personally today. So, observation. A merry heart or a happy heart is like good medicine. So good medicine makes us feel better. Wow. And then, but a broken spirit or sadness or complaining or being discouraged saps a person's strength. So this last Saturday, <clears throat> we had a drive through prayer time at church. It was really cool. I got to see a lot of you. And so that was really special. But being out in the sun makes you really tired. And then after I was at the, that, I went out to the beach. So I was in the sun for a long period of time. And I was really tired. And it's kind of like when we're around someone who's not so happy or someone who's sad. We don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. We're like, should I talk? Should I be quiet? You're like, that's so exhausting. But when we're around someone who's full of joy, remember we talked about choosing joy and happiness is a byproduct of joy. And when we laugh a lot, that makes us feel good inside. And there's even a chemical thing that happens inside of us. And I don't know how to explain that, but it, it happens. And so laughter, joy, is like good medicine. It actually has healing properties. And it makes us feel better. It makes us enjoy life. It makes us see God for who he is. All of these good things happen when we choose joy and we let happiness be a pride product of that i don't know about you but i've missed the beach i've missed restaurants i've missed church i've missed people and all of this and i could be sad about that hmm. or we've done all kinds of crazy creative things like we've been trying new recipes every friday night and like making our own restaurant at home with my wife and, and my two youngest children who are still at home with us so that's been fun we have been um, as soon as we were able to go walk on a beach, we went out and walked on the beach just to see God's creation. I talked about that in this last le weekend's lesson. I just love the beach because it's so big and, it, and I feel so small. And I remember how big God is. And that's just amazing because then my problems aren't that big a deal because I serve a great God. And that is, being at the beach is just a fraction of how big he is. And so when I'm choosing joy and I get happy, Saturday I was I was in a bad mood. And I was kind of grumpy and I was not happy. And then I went to the beach. I should have been happy because I'd been praying with people. And that was amazing. Um, but I went to the beach and I got out in the water and I rode the waves for about an hour. And it was so good. So good. Uh, because I just thought, God's so powerful. He's so big. And my problem's so little. It doesn't matter. And then after that, we got to go to a restaurant and it was only 25% capacity, but we got a seat. And we had some of our favorite Italian food. And it was just a great day. It was a great day because I chose joy. I chose to see God for who he is. Now, I know I've been talking a lot. And that's a lot of application, a lot of observation, all rolled up into one. And sometimes that's okay. But it's a simple verse. Laughter and cheerful hearts and joy. It's a good medicine to the soul. We get discouraged. It saps our strength. If we're sad and grumpy. It just leaves us yucky and tired. And not fun to be around. So choose joy. And let happiness be a byproduct. It doesn't matter. things when, when things change, things will change. We've had a lot of fun. I've seen you all doing so many fun and creative things online. That you probably would never have done. But isn't that fun? So as we think about this summer. It's coming soon. I'm super excited about that. And the warm weather. And the beach. And going for walks. And riding my bike. And being with family and friends. And it's just... I'm just so ready for all that fun stuff. So today, choose joy and let happiness be a byproduct of that choice. And you know what it will do? It will make you feel better. It will make you feel stronger. It will make you feel more secure in your relationship with Jesus. And ultimately, it will bring you peace. Because you think, you know what? All that craziness, let somebody else worry about that. I'm not. I'm choosing joy. 
I'm resting in the arms of my Savior, who's amazing and so big and so strong and so powerful. Psh, I ain't got to worry about anything. Let's pray. God, we just love you. We thank you that we can. We thank you that you are bigger and stronger than anything this world has to offer. Because, God, you created it. So it's not, a, it's, it's not anything that you can't handle. It's not anything that would be a surprise to you. And so, God, we love you. Lord, today we choose joy. We choose to rest in you. We choose peace. We choose happiness as a result of those choices. And so, God, today, let us feel better because we choose joy. Let us laugh and let laughter reign in our heart, in our life. And people will see a difference. Those crazy people who love Jesus. And what a great thing to be said about us. In your name we pray. Amen. I know my thoughts were a little scattered today, but the cool thing is we can choose joy and we can choose to be happy regardless of circumstance. And we can just see God's blessings just start to fall all over us and all over people around us. And it may not change them right away, but you know what? It plants a seed. And it lets them know there's a difference. There's a choice they can make. They don't have to be all sad sacky. They can be happy and joyful in Jesus. Have a great day.